On this Monday, the 1st of February, our service of morning prayer begins on page 80. Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The Venite, page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 56 and 57, beginning on page 662. Psalms 56 and 57. Have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all the day long. Truly there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do me evil. They band together. They lie in wait. They spy upon my footsteps because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O God, in your anger, cast down the peoples. You have noted my lamentation. Put my ears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God the Lord, whose word I praise. In God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for I have taken refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until this time of trouble has gone by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who maintains my cause. He will send forth from heaven and save me. He will confound those who trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions that devour the people. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharp sword. They have laid a net for my feet, and I am bowed low. They have dug a pit before me, but have fallen into it themselves. Exalt yourself before the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. My heart is firmly fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Wake up, my spirit, awake, lute and harp. I myself will waken the dawn. I will confess you among the peoples, O Lord, I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is greater than the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Exalt yourself above the heavens, O God, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the, to the Father, Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Rouse yourself, 
rouse yourself, stand up, O Jerusalem, you who have drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, who have drunk to the dregs of the bowl of staggering. There is none to guide her among all the sons she has borne. There is none to take her by the hand among all the sons she has brought up. These two things have befallen you. Who will condole with you? Devastation and destruction, famine and sword? Who will comfort you? Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of every street like an antelope in a net. They are full of the wrath of the Lord, the rebuke of your God. Therefore hear this, you who are afflicted, who are drunk, but not with wine. Thus says your Lord, the Lord your God who pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken from your hand the cup of staggering. The bow of my wrath you shall, you shall drink no more. I will put it into the hand of your tormentors who have said to you, bow down that we may pass over and you have made your back lie and you have made your back like the ground and like the street for them to pass over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Zechariah, page 92. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The prayers, beginning on page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Ever living God, we rejoice today in the fellowship of your blessed servant, Bridget, and we give you thanks for her life of devoted service. Inspire us with life and light, and give us perseverance to serve you all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray today for our diocese and for all of the work and prayers that will go into selecting our next bishop. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, look graciously on your church and so guide the minds of those who shall choose a bishop for this diocese that we may receive a faithful pastor who will care for your people and equip us for our ministries through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we continue to pray for our schools, for the care and upbringing of our children. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, 
enlightened by your Holy Spirit, those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth, they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.